Are you just going to lay in bed all day? Would you judge a frog resting atop a lily pad? Would you criticize a flower for enjoying the sun? My dad just walked in and asked me, What do you get when you cross a joke with a rhetorical question? And left. Next level dad joke, let's go! Ah uh, yes, the third gender. Lefties. Okay, well wait, if you're like a left-handed non-binary person, does that like make you Jesus? How's it work? Oh boy, I gotta commit to the bit on this one. <clears throat> In fourth grade, I was introduced to the concept of run-on sentences by my teacher, and I immediately raised my hand and pointed out that none of the sentences being used as examples were actually grammatically wrong at all, and were just longer than most people can comfortably write slash read. And she made me sit in the corner, and I feel like that shows a lot in my typing style on this hell site. Run-on sentences are ADHD culture. Ugh. Really don't like using those punctuations, Tumblr user sex haver. If JG Wentworth doesn't stand for Jared Gerald Wentworth, then what is even the point of life? How could I trust him to give him my money that I need right now? Star Wars has three types of guys. Fump Gizo from the Wumfly system, stab a bad guy man, and Chris. Star Wars heritage post. Hmm. At the press of a button. Bert will send you his bees. Also, can we point out how freaking dystopic this thing is? This is a button you buy to buy the product faster. Why? Can, can I be serious for a moment? I really can't believe how many people on here, especially leftists, support Marx. The man was incredibly problematic. I mean... Do you even remember when he tricked Kirby into summoning Galactic Nova so he could take over Planet Popstar? Or do you just not care? Gotcha. Wizard. Oh, I like your goblin detecting sword. That's funny. Goblin here thought they just had a really cool glowing sword. My what now? The moral of Matilda is that if you're autistic enough, you can destroy your enemies with your mind. You have Mento, Illinois. Ah, oh, fuck. I think I'm Nero Di Vermont, too. Leaving this in the tags was a mistake, dire human! You know, you could follow the genuinely funny poster who's going to be gone in six months. Or you could follow me, the mediocre to okayish poster who's been on Tumblr for like 11 and a half years and will be here until the flames finally reach and destroy the Dana Center within our precious memories. Or actually, you could just you could follow us both. Who, who you follow isn't really one or the other type thing. Follow me more for more Tumblr.com tips. You know what you gotta do? You gotta do the like, comment, and subscribe bit. Got yeah, ya. Yeah. Tumblr being all adults nowadays is so funny because my mutuals are either unemployed chain smokers or Ezra, bioengineering PhD candidate at University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill. One of the important lessons to learn about adult life is that the gap between unemployed chain smoker and a bioengineering PhD candidate is actually not that large. In between them, there's a content creator just trying to sell these little squishy pieces of merchandise that you could get in the link below. What? It's called irony poisoning because it makes you sick in the head. Like, yeah, man, sorry for caring about this thing I like too much. It would have been much cooler if I pretended to not give a shit about anything at all, actually. This makes me better than everyone who expresses feelings, which are inherently a sign of weakness, as you already know. Cause of death. Who gives a shit? Cause of death. Any fucking business. Cause of death. Died. I would have ended it there, but there's one even funnier after that. Cause of death. Wouldn't you like to know, Weather Boy?